An update now on a Target 12 investigation. As we previously reported, counselors working with veterans who often suffer from PTSD were switched to a quota system. And a whistleblower tells us the change is virtually unmanageable and left counselors needing counseling themselves. Well, now the case is making national headlines and has launched a federal inquiry. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the follow-up. After his complaints, a local counselor told us his superiors retaliated against him right before he decided to retire. But he tells us he continues to push for change in how the VA counsels combat veterans. In the 20 months since combat veteran counseling complaints were first revealed by Target 12, and a lot of people have feared. Whistleblower Ted Blickwittle's claims have prompted national news coverage and multiple investigations, including one that's still active involving the U.S. General Accountability Office. This retired Marine was a counselor at Warwick's VA Vet Center for nine years when he sounded the alarm over this 2016 memo that said up a weekly quota for counselors, 30 sessions a week or six per day. It's changed to a, a business model concerned more about clinical production numbers and visit counts than really quality care or counselor well-being. A VA spokesperson out of Washington told us the agency disagrees with Blickweddle's characterization, telling us counselors can manage their own schedules as long as they consult with their direct supervisor. But Blickweddle says he's still talking with active vet center counselors who claim the productivity pressure has gotten worse despite the investigations. Uh, counselors have gotten depressed because of this. In fact, some of them suicidal. And in fact, some of them have sought out their own therapy. He credits Senator Jack Reed with playing a role in getting the GAO involved. But we'll have to wait and see how the GAO actually handles that once their report comes out. GAO report is expected to be released as early as June. On WPRI.com, more details on the investigations conducted by two other federal agencies. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.